This is West Yorkshire's bus service improvement plan that the government just gave the authority £90 million to implement out of a bid for £168 million. It contains a long list of improvements to the buses in West Yorkshire, but also shows just how far Transive Blazefield have come and just how stagnant both Ariba and First seemingly are. Though, before we begin, I want to highlight two very important factors. One, that they are my local operator, as much as I try to reduce it, I am biased. And two, that there is not enough sufficient data publicly available to know customer satisfaction. Anyways, back to the video. Transdev Blazefield isn't a name that you've probably heard of, and that's for two key reasons. Firstly, in terms of size, they're relatively small when compared to the big names of Arriva and First. And secondly, Rather than openly running their buses as Transdev Blazefield, they prefer to operate more localised brands, often named after where they serve, be that Harrogate, the Harrogate Bus Company, or Blackburn, the Blackburn Bus Company. And that's just two out of the nine brands that they run, the others being the Keefley Bus Company, the Burnley Bus Company, Rosso, Coastliner, York and County, Flyer, and Team Pennine. Look, here in the plan the authority have asked for 7.6 million towards a more cohesively presented bus network. As part of this they set out a clear new hierarchy of branding. At the top, the metro band, then service level brands, and then the bottom, which sure has the operating companies and the West Yorkshire Combined Authority brand. Now, let's compare this to one of Transdev Boysfield's brands, the Keefley Bus Company. At the top of the hierarchy, we have the Keefley Bus Company's branding. Then as part of the company, nearly all the routes have their own sub-brand. Airline, Keefley to Leeds, the Shuttle 662, Keefley to Bradford, Dalesway, Keefley to Skipton, the Keefley Jets for local services, and then finally, background transfer Boysfield branding. Look familiar? And while you could say that I may be exaggerating, compare it with first in Bradford. All of the routes are just numbered, all of the bus liveries are more or less the same, there isn't some route branding, simply a number and location, oh and did I forget to mention that Airline, the Shuttle 662 and Dalesway all have their own clearly identifiable liveries. Okay then, what else? Within the network navigation section of the plan, there's this map. It illustrates in a simple manner how to travel into the city with all the providers combined, and sets the benchmark for how maps should be created for navigation across the region. And here are the maps you can find on the Keefley Bus Company's website, and oftentimes in stations. One for local town services, local district services, and then services in Yorkshire. Transev makes maps like these for all their companies, every single one. But also in saying that I must mention that the other operators also do provide maps for their areas as well. And yeah, they want Move It to be the go-to app for bus tracking, ticketing and route planning over the next few years. But most operators have their own apps which have these features, but well, the reviews speak for themselves. Complete con had an issue after reinstalling app where it would no longer accept the barcode on the bus. Tried reinstalling it again and now allocated to activate the ticket because ticket was recently transferred to a new device so it cannot be activated. Con artists. Absolute trash. This is the top review by the way. Now first bus. Where do I start? A bus app which can't give accurate times, doesn't match the quote unquote live boards at the bus stop, at times doesn't doesn't match the timetables at the stop, absolutely useless app and company. And here is again the second top review about Transdev's app. An excellent app from a bus service provider. Comprehensive yet easy to use, effective menu, clean UI. I really love the idea of having the ready to go button at the departure page. First bus definitely have need to have a good look into this and improve theirs. This is the second top review on Google Play. Starting to see a pattern? Transitive Blazefield, maybe because of the management of Alex Hornby, or the fact that it's the only major operator in towns, means that its efforts to create a brand image and provide service, uh, services are seemingly unparalleled. In West Yorkshire, there is simply no competition between which major operator provides the best service. So maybe Transitive Blazefield should run the buses in the cities as well. And who knows, with their continued expansion and acquisition of other uppers, operators, maybe that future isn't as far away as it seems. Thanks for watching, if you've made it this far, why not subscribe, and as always, have a great day.